This is the Ethan and Ethan Show, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a geothermal power plant, basically. Um, it, of course, involves geothermal generators here, and, you know, lava cells, and you'll need some energy condensers and MKs, or if you want to supply it with EMC, then you can do that, too. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, this is how fast it goes. And that's just um, 30 of them, which wasn't hard to make, because I was in creative mode mainly, and, you know, they're not really hard to make, it probably took me like 5 minutes to make this whole thing, and look how much power it's making, I mean, it's a lot of power, and of course, we're losing power at the same time, because we're getting power faster than we can deposit power into these MFSUs, so, you know, pretty good. So uh, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. So you'll need your uh, timers and jacketed wire. So get a timer, get a jacketed wire, mm -hmm. okay, jacketed wire, and then red alloy wire of course because we need to hook up the timer to the jacketed wire, which the jacketed wire goes into the pipes, which are redstone pipes, by the way. Um, you could use regular pipes, but um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using redstone pipes. So, basically like a 5 by 2 row, so that'd be 10. You can make it bigger, but I'm going to do 5 by 2 because I think that's the most efficient way to do it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I meant I meant ten by two. I'm sorry, I didn't mean five by two. Ten by two, like this. Place your geothermal generators on top of these. And then after you've done that, make um, an output of lava cells, and just get like a lot of them in there, so I have a lot, so there's some. And then let's put down our jacketed wire that I used to have. Okay, so jacketed wire, keep, make sure it's connected to the redstone pipe. And then red alloy, and then a timer. So for right now, I'm just gonna like make it so it doesn't output really any. And then get your glass fiber cables. And uh, go ahead and uh, fill the top with glass fiber cables so you can output your power and output it to something like an MFSU. So, as you can see, we're getting power here. So, now that we're getting power, we can go ahead and let the uh, timer do its work. Make sure do not put two MFSUs like don't do this. What happens is a EU loop and it basically just doesn't make it look good. I mean it also lags your server if you're on a server it lags your game so just don't do it. So I'm running at low FPS, I break the uh, MFSU, and I can see I'm not lagging that much anymore. But I do have a pretty bad laptop, so uh, don't blame me for all this lag. 
<clears throat> so I'm gonna get some MK3s. Uh, those are anti-matter, or those are MK2s. Um, I guess really in any MK can work, but I prefer MK3s, of course, because they're better. I'm just gonna do this. And as you can see, it's already doing it relatively fast, so that's how we set it up. And as you can see, it's outputting pretty fast, and like, it's pretty good. And you can put some right here as well. That works. Alright. So, boom. You got yourself a uh, geothermal power plant. And then you can just make multiple of these and just stack them up on top of each other. You connect all the glass fiber tables to this and just remember to not make it new. So uh, if you make it if to not to have it hooked up to two MFSUs at once and not having one MFSU output to two MFSUs, other MFF MSFUs, MS use right just don't use two cables just keep it at one and then have your two uh, MFSUs like that those are not MFSUs of course but you see right here is how I have it set up really odd but you know it works and it does not EU hoop so yeah so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and of course you can make an MK3 power flower, and that would do much better than mama cells. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up, smash subscribe, smash everything except for the dislike button. Mm, I don't know if I wanted that correctly, but anyway, all good things on the video quiz and hope you enjoyed and bye.